In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing Season 2, Episode 8 of Only Murders in the Building, titled Hello Darkness. Now, the city is thrust into a blackout. Mabel, Oliver, and Charles have to get back to their Conia to help Lucy, who is alone in Charles' apartment. Now, while they're at the Pickle Diner, Marv comes up to them. Marv is one of the, evidently, the fans of the podcast, and he has a theory. And his theory is that the 6th Avenue serial killer could be the one doing this. But the three don't have time to listen to his theory, and they all rush out. They go back to Arconia. And now, the interesting thing about this episode is that we're introduced not to, you know, a lot of characters in this episode, but the residents of the Arconia. Not only that, this episode is really focused a lot on Howard Morris, who is the cat guy, I call him, the cat lover. And he has a thing for someone else in, lives in another apartment, and you know, he goes to the apartment, but he's while well, he's gonna go to the apartment, that person comes to his apartment. They share a moment, and all the while that's happening, we have Nina, who is needs a package, and the front doorman takes it upstairs to her, they have a moment and Lester, I think, I believe his name is Lester. There's so many characters in this show. It's so hard to keep track of who's who. And they have a moment where Lester finds out that what's being built on top of the Arconia. And Nina gives Lester a new position. And all the while, Howard and the gentleman from another apartment start singing, uh, Hello, Darkness, My Old Friend, or Simon and Garfunkel. And then the entire apartment complex starts singing it as well all the while lucy is in charles's apartment and you know the killer breaks in lucy escapes through the passageway through the halls and the catacombs or whatever oliver putman called it martin short's character in one of the previous episodes of this season and then charles mabel and oliver look for lucy lucy finds them and then all of a sudden someone else is in there and then we see this hooded person in like a so-called mask and then Mabel trips the person we find out it's Marv We're like okay what is Marv is Marv the killer what's happening Marv's like no I'm not the killer and Lucy confirms it saying that it was in him it was someone else and basically Marv tells the three or the four of them that he's actually a mold inspector he knows the ins and outs of this building and he just wants to reconnect with certain things, especially his daughter, where he wants to be recognized once again. And in order to do this, he figured, help these guys out. And what I really do like about this season, season two of Only Murders in the Building, the show is poking fun at themselves in this season. It's like, oh, we don't have enough content, but we're still trying to figure out certain things. Or this is just too much. We should take this away. But let's leave it for now, right now, for this episode. It's a show within a show as you're watching it. And if you understand the jokes that are happening, it's really, really funny and absolutely hilarious. Um, the interesting thing is that we have Michael Rappaport in this episode as Detective Krebs and all of a sudden he comes out of nowhere and he's like, you know, he's on these tail of everyone and he's like, what's happening? He's like, you yeah, know, I was in the building, I was in the neighborhood area. And Mabel's like, really? You were just in a neighborhood, you know? And Mabel tells Detective Krebs, why shouldn't I just, you know, why you can't you just arrest me for what, you know, you saw on the video of me stabbing someone? And Detective Krebs is like, yeah, I should, but you know, hey. And then Marv is standing uh, right, you know, off to the side, and then Detective Krebs is like, what you looking at, old man? So as he turns his head, Mabel notices on the back of his neck, there's glitter. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. So the glitter guy is Detective Krebs, or so to speak, because Howard, while Howard and the other gentleman were leaving to go out to get a bite to eat, Howard bumped into Detective Krebs, and his shoulder started hurting see the glitter it's like wow okay what's happening and mabel's like yeah see you later too detective crap you can see in her eyes like something's up and what's happening here's my thing about this season is there one killer or are there two i believe there are two killers now i didn't expect detective Krebs would be one of the killers uh i'm i look i'm, I'm already theorizing that there's two killers uh but what is the aspect of it is detective Krebs like uh somehow related to bunny 
you know, what is the meaning of it? Why did he do it? Or is Detective Krebs covering up for someone else? You know, are there, like I said, are there two killers? Is there one actually doing it and one trying to, you know, wipe away or what's happening? How does Detective Krebs know about the ins and outs of the hotel? Or not the hotel, the, uh, yeah, the, the Arconia. Um, <laughs> and uh, what's the story behind it? I mean, this is episode eight. So there's two episodes left until the season finale. There's episodes nine and ten. Things are going to get heavy and things are going to get really, really interesting. And I'm curious to see what happens because... I really can't put my finger on it this season. I mean, season one was not bad. It was simple and quick and easy. But they really put a lot of effort into this season because they're poking fun of themselves. There's more characters and there's more new characters and more introduction into what's happening with everybody, especially at the Arconia. Everyone's a suspect, no matter what it is. And then, you know, with everything happening, it's going to be interesting to see how this ends up. And then, will they actually solve the murder for this season or will it go into season three because the show did get picked up for a third season or will the third season take place somewhere else like on a different state in a different country or do the three like you know want to get away and then they go away to a resort and they have to figure that murder out i like what the show's doing it's different it's original it's fresh steve martin who created the show along with John Hoffman is a really, really great. It's a nice mix of comedy and mystery. True crime thrown in with some great laughs. Martin Short is great. Selena Gomez is fantastic. And Steve Martin is... Everyone's in their prime. Steve Martin and Martin Short are both still in their prime. Even in their 70s. And seeing Selena Gomez alongside these two prolific actors in Hollywood, absolutely amazing. I love this episode, and I want to see what else is going to happen next. It's really good that this episode was just that one, like, okay, it's that one episode. It's a blackout. A lot of things can go through your head during a blackout. No cell phones are working. You have to light candles. Your par your own paranoia sets in, like, and your mind plays tricks on you. And they did that. They m played mind tricks with us, the viewer. I can't wait to see what happens in the final two episodes. I mean, I don't want this season to end, but it has to, and then there's a season three, so it's going to be, ooh, I'm, I'm hoping the payoff is really, really big, and this Detective Cripps as the glitter guy, so far right now, is just a decoy, and we don't know who the actual person is. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Season 2, Episode 8 of Hello Darkness. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? Do you think Detective Cripps is the glitter guy, or is it, like I said, a decoy? What do you think the whole aspect is for Marv? You know, do you think Marv is doing it? Who do you think is the actual killer? And who killed Bunny and why? Two episodes left and I still can't figure it out. But if you can, let me know in the comment section below who you think it is. There are a lot of viewers on my YouTube channel who have said it's Poppy. Uh, okay, how? Uh, let me know. I want to know how it's Poppy. Could it be Detective Cripps? Could it be Marv? Could it be someone we don't know? Could it be Nina? Could it be Lester, the doorman? Uh, could it be someone else we're not knowing? Could it be Howard, the cat guy? Why? So many if, ands, or buts. And, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see. Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked about Season 2, Episode 8 of Only Murders in the Building. And I'll see you all in the next review video. And be sure you tune in next week for my Season 2, Episode 9 review of Only Murders in the Building titled Sparring Partners.